hello my friends on youtube once again i haven't stood by what i said i was gonna do which was be consistent with uploading yeah that didn't happen i don't even remember what i've said in my february videos to be honest i don't remember a lot of things right now and i have been contemplating whether i want to keep uploading to youtube because man it is it's a lot of work I know, like, I've been watching YouTubers for a really long time, and I don't even have the intent of becoming a YouTuber through doing this. But the point of what I'm saying is I've always had respect for the amount of work that goes into creating and putting videos together. But now that I'm doing it, I have even more respect. And look at it, you know what, look at it this way too. I don't know if that sounded weird. I guess I'll keep this in. I was gonna say, look at it this way too. YouTubers are not like television. So what I mean by that is it, you're one person and when you say things on YouTube, unless you go back and look at what you've said before you record something, you are not going to remember every little thing that you've ever said in a video. It's just impossible. Whereas if you're a TV show, you have a whole team of producers, writers, la -di da da all the people that you need to put on a big old show and talk as if you actually remember what happened. But the fact is, you have a script or some kind of notes that someone else provided for you if you're the talk show host or you know you know what I'm saying so it just it made me think like I used to watch um Samantha Maria she's a British youtuber I, I still watch her but I'm, I'm saying I used to watch her videos more religiously than I do now I don't feel like I'm watching anyone on YouTube religiously anymore I used to like dive deep and watch a lot of YouTube videos at once and maybe you can relate and maybe that's why you're here I don't know the point is that I would watch a video of hers and she'd say one thing and then she'd say something a little bit differently a few weeks later or like maybe she would say something a certain way and then contradict herself a few weeks later which I completely like I used to say to myself like oh you know she forgot like you can't beat people up about these things. At least I don't see the point. Like, but anyways, the fact that I'm in their shoe, in a you like in the shoes of the person making the videos now, I totally get that. Like, I got it before, but now I get it to just a new level. So that's my rambling for the day. Here I am. I cut off my hair. Hello, best decision I ever made in my life. Maybe you'll disagree. Guess what? I don't care. I uh, have received a lot of compliments though, so that's been an interesting experience. I only, let's see, of all the people I've seen, including work and personal, only one person so far hasn't really said anything, I guess because they probably thought I was more attractive before. But again, I didn't do this for anyone but myself. And my husband was fully supportive he actually is who encouraged me to do this which you're welcome I'm giving you some credit here uh he wants credit for this he wants credit for my hair transformation and i'm like look i've thought of this for a long time you just knew that i'd thought of it before and then you encouraged me to do it and then you know the seed was planted but you watered the seed all right, you didn't plant the seed, you watered the seed, and then here we are, I've cut it off. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm really loving it. I don't like what's going on right now with this little um, wave, but you guys, like, cutting off my hair was just the greatest thing I've ever done. It was, it was so thin from being on Accutane, and when I'd put it up in a ponytail, it just, it just drove me crazy, even putting it in a bun. Like, I had received comments from people, oh, your bun is so cute, so tiny. And you know, no offense to them, it's the truth, and I'm glad you think it's cute, but to me, 
that's annoying. My hair should not be that thin. So, yeah, this was, I want to say it's been like two and a half weeks now. I actually, this is actually shorter than how it was originally cut. And of course, my camera's going to die now that I want to make this video. So I'm going to sign off now before it dies and uh, revisit later. Let's see if I can get a quick, quick skin check-in. I've had hormonal slash... What did Caroline Hirons call it? I think she called it the hormone beard. Something like that. I don't know. Things are looking fine. I think if someone else was post hockey chain and had this much going on, they might be freaking out. But it's cool. I was freaking out in January for sure. But we'll get back to that later just so that my camera doesn't die. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I, uh... We'll see if I'm going to make this a regular thing again. I don't know what to do with my life. So this is my quick check-in. Maybe I'm just going to upload this. I don't know. I haven't decided. All right.